Hey, hello and welcome to this really fun tutorial by From Ocean. So, today I show you a super cool way to colorize old black and white photos with the help of Photoshop and AI. So, let's do this quick and clean. Hey, and when we've colorized them, I'll show you how to restore old photos if they have scratches or something like that in just a second. So, the other day I visited my grandpa and saw his wedding photo in his living room. So I quickly scanned it in at high resolution. Now, opening up Photoshop and opening up our image and quickly make a duplicate. So we have the original as comparison for later. For that, just click here on the lock to unlock it. Now hold down the Alt button and with the mouse, simply drag it up. And by the way, this is how to make a duplicate in almost every Adobe software. So we'll name this original. And with the layer selected, go to Filters, Neural Filters, and enable the Colorize filter. <laughs> Alter, boom, almost done. So a trick here, if you know a specific color, maybe the color of the jacket, you can select that and define a specific color for it. So now we just click on OK and we could end this now. But as this was super short so far, I'm pretty sure that you all want to learn just a bit more. OK, so again, let's open up our neural filters and this time go to Photo Restoration. And this is also the place where you can remove scratches if you have some. Hey, and indeed, I cleaned up my photo before adding the colors. And yes, it is as simple as that. So this is the before and after of just that. And the only thing I don't quite like is that my grandpa has a little too much lipstick. So let's bring down the saturation just there. And that's an easy fix. We create a new adjustment layer for you and saturation by clicking over here. And now we can bring down the saturation, but wait. We only want it on the lips. So let's use a mat for that. And hey, there's already one created automatically for us. You see that white layer there behind the adjustment layer? So white is where the effect is applied. So simply select that layer and use the brush tool that we can get over here or with B for brush to paint over his lips. And by default, you should have black and white as colors selected. And if not, simply click on that small black and white icon here. And with the X button, <laughs> you can switch between both colors. So now let's bring down the saturation and paint with black on it. Oh, ah, I smell what you're cooking. But now we need to invert the mask. Well, but nothing easier than that. When clicking on the mask, you can now just click on invert and you are good to go. Hey, and if this workflow is too confusing, simply invert the mask directly at the beginning so you get live feedback response from your brush. So, and now let's have a look at the before and after. Looks absolutely amazing. And I'm sure my grandpa will love it, but enough for today. I hope you enjoyed this and I wish you a lot of fun putting a smile to your grandparents' faces with Photoshop. <laughs>